I'm here in Ireland with the Irish Hotels Federation and we've been looking at all kinds of global trends which will impact the hotel industry and of course online is so huge. And by online I really mean mobile because if we look at say what's happening in the UK, 12% of all sales in the UK are already conducted online but over half of them are now on mobile devices. So it is true to say that the online uh, world for, uh, for uh, making research or for making decisions is now mainly mobile in the UK as of 2014 and will be even more so 2015, 2016, 2017 and this is going to be the case in many other countries. In fact, it already is. Why is that? Because in many countries, people haven't got traditional phone lines anyway. I'm talking about emerging markets. They've jumped straight into the smartphone world and so, of course, their entire use of the internet is using mobile devices. So think mobile. Big question. What does your hotel website look like on a mobile device? Is it usable on a mobile? You cannot have the same website and expect it to work well for a hotel. It has to be a complete rethink. Just look how uh, people like Facebook use uh, mobile devices or LinkedIn or, or TripAdvisor. They are com they have a completely different experience or even YouTube. Go and have a look at those sites. Then have a look at your own hotel website and just see what a challenge it is. And of course, in the online world, we're talking about mobile, we're talking about social, social mobile. We're talking about a world of TripAdvisor. We're talking about a world where people are actually commenting on the meal they're eating in your restaurant, in your hotel, as they are eating it. They're popping it up onto TripAdvisor, they're rating the meal, they're putting photographs of the meal up. It's live, it's happening all the time. Smart hotels are right in there with social media. Smart hotels set up email alerts so every time a customer makes a comment, whether it's positive or negative, on something like TripAdvisor, the hotel manager, not actually the hotel manager, someone who signs as the hotel manager, it's probably a junior, much more junior member of staff, could do most of it, but goes on and says, thank you for staying in a hotel. I'm so glad you enjoyed our inclusive golf experience. Uh, looking forward to seeing you again, Mary, next time you come. Or, uh, thank you, Tom, for visiting us. Uh, we were delighted to see you again. We know that you've been with us four or five times and we're, we're so delighted that once again you've been so pleased uh, to have the experience with us. Or it might be, uh, dear Jim, we were so upset to read of what happened uh, in your room, uh, not being ready for you on time, and then, uh, and then the blinds not working and, and the other problems you had with the shower. Uh, we've, you know, we've decided to give you this kind of discount or whatever it is. Um, we thank you for pointing these things out. We did talk with you at the time. And uh, as you know, we, uh, we have booked you and your wife to come back again in three weeks' time uh, with a special discount, and we really look forward to seeing you then. So we need to answer these things. We're engaging. And each time we reply, we are showing Google, the search engine, that the hotel is alive, that there are real human beings there, that we take our clients seriously, and it all helps with the search engine ratings and rankings because it's just extra words to search on and things like that. Uh, Facebook is a very important social medium, uh, but I wouldn't overdo your marketing on Facebook personally. I do think that G Plus is something to watch out for. There are one billion G Plus accounts already. Google is using G Plus because it couldn't do a deal with Facebook. And Google wants to use authorship in future uh, to validate who actually writes web pages, to work out whether web pages are worth reading or not, to know who wrote them, to know whether we can trust those people or not. And that's really, uh, in essence, what G Plus is all about, although it's designed officially to be a social media website. So I would say get into G Plus, make sure you, you are, are in there, make sure you're registered there so that when you write something, your photograph comes up from the listings on Google, and so on. Now, e-commerce is now worth $1.5 trillion a year. And uh, with it, it's not going to go away, and price comparison is going to be a very important part of this for hotels in future, even more than in the past, especially with the new rulings we've had in Ireland uh, with the Offices of Fair Trading, which now allow people to create comparison sites and to discount website uh, to create a discount for hotel rooms by discounting on their own margin without having to go back to the hotel and get agreement on this reduced pricing. So you're going to see a, an awful lot of varieties of prices for the same product, same hotel, same service, same date uh, from different sites, which is probably a good thing for the consumer. So comparison sites will reduce margins quite a lot. 
But at the same time, these kind of online booking engines generate more custom because you will find that people who are on them, who are listed on them, will get bookings which are very short term. You know, it's a customer who lands at the airport, who wants a room in an hour, and will be with you in an hour. So, very important changes, important opportunities. We have to act smart and we have to act fast.